Ready. Action. I started uh, actually on this road. When I uh, was 18, I became, I was the youngest founding member of the Greenpeace Foundation. And I was with Greenpeace until 1977. And the reason that I left Greenpeace to set up Sea Shepherd was because of an incident that happened in June of 1976. Bob Hunter and I and Paul Spong had come up with this idea to save whales by putting ourselves between the whales and the harpoons. Well, we were reading a lot of Gandhi at the time and we thought all we had to do was put our bodies on the line and that would, do, that would solve the problem. In June of 1975, Bob and I found ourselves in this small boat off, 60 miles off the coast of Northern California, off Eureka. This was before the 200 mile limit. So the Soviet fleet were killing whales right off the coast of California. So we put our, our plan into action and we got between the harpoon and the, and the whales and in front of us were eight magnificent sperm whales that were fleeing for their life and uh, every time the harpooner on the Soviet vessel tried to get a shot I would maneuver the boat and block his aim. And this worked for about 20 minutes and we were feeling real good about it until the Russian captain came uh, running down the catwalk to the harpooner and he screamed into his ear and then he turned and smiled at us and brought his finger across his neck like that and that's when I realized that uh, Gandhi wasn't going to work for us that day. And uh, a few moments later there was this incredible explosion and this harpoon flew over our head and slammed into the backside of one of the uh, whales in front of us. She was a female and she screamed. It was like a, a woman screaming and she rolled on her side in a fountain of blood and suddenly the largest whale in that pod hit the water with his tail and completely disappeared. And he swam right underneath of us and he threw himself out of the water straight at the harpooner to defend his pod but they knew we would do that and uh, they had loaded a second harpoon and at point blank range he pulled the trigger and struck the whale in the head. And that whale screamed and fell back in the water rolling in incredible agony on the surface. There was blood and everything all over the place. And as he rolled about on the surface I caught his eye and he saw us and, and he dove again and I saw a trail of bloody bubbles coming at us real fast. And then suddenly he came up and out of the water over our small inflatable boat and the next move was to fall forward right on top of us and would have crushed us. And as the head rose up out of the water and I looked into this eye that was rising before me, what I saw in that eye changed my life forever because what I saw was understanding. The whale understood what we were trying to do because I could see the effort that he made and pulled himself back and his head began to sink beneath the surface and I saw his eye disappear below the water and, and, and he died. So he could have killed us and chose not to do so. I saw something else in that eye too and it was, and it was pity and not for himself, but for us, that we could take life so mercilessly, so thoughtlessly, and for what? The Russians were killing sperm whales primarily for spermaceti oil, which is used for uh, a high lubricating fluid for, for uh, machinery. And one of the things the Russians were using it for was the development and manufacture of intercontinental ballistic missiles. And I said, here we are destroying this incredibly beautiful, incredibly intelligent, socially complex creature for the purpose of making a weapon meant for the mass extermination of human beings. And that's when it struck me like a bolt of lightning. I mean, we're insane. We're absolutely insane. And it's from that moment on I decided, look, what I do for the rest of my life is gonna be for the whales. Not for people, but for the whales. That ocean is our lifeblood. It's, uh, it's our heart. It's, uh, it's everything to us. And as we erode life in the ocean, as we've already taken out 90% of the fish, uh, if we destroy the fish, the marine mammals, the seabirds, then we're gonna kill the ocean. And if we kill the ocean, we kill ourselves. And that's the message I most want to get across, that this is not a question of just saving whales or saving sharks. This is a question of self-preservation. And uh, we're doing this for ourselves.